Get ready for a big race in the world of super tall buildings. Just after Saudi Arabia shared the news about restarting work on the Jeddah Tower, Dubai has exciting news too. The construction of the Dubai Creek Tower is back on track, but with a twist. They're planning to change the whole design. What's the new plan? And how do you even build a super tall skyscraper like this? Join us at Superstructures to find out. Let's trace the journey of the Dubai Creek Tower so far. It was unveiled in 2016 with the plans to become the world's tallest structure, reaching a height of at least 1,300 meters, surpassing even Dubai's iconic Burj Khalifa, the current tallest building globally. This ambitious project faced a pause in 2020, but substantial work had already been done on the foundations by Emar Properties, the developer. Despite this progress, the main structure's construction hadn't kicked off, partly due to delays in finding a contractor. The COVID-19 pandemic further halted the project, leading to speculations about its abandonment, as all mentions were removed from Emar Properties' website during that time. While uncertainty surrounded the fate of the Dubai Creek Tower, the broad development of Dubai Creek Harbor seemed to progress according to plan. Positioned in the historic Dubai Creek, this upscale district is still under construction. The tower, designed as the focal point, offers stunning views of downtown Dubai and the Burj Khalifa. Despite being far from completion, a glance at Emar Properties' website reveals significant progress this year. Adjacent to the tower's site is the Creek Island, an artificial island already hosting luxury hotels, apartments, and restaurants. Notable features include a five-star waterfront hotel, an 80-berth marina yacht club, and a man-made beach and lagoon. Upon completion, the entire Creek Harbor development is expected to cover an area twice the size of downtown Dubai, accommodating up to 200,000 residents and tens of thousands of tourists. If successful, Dubai Creek Harbor could emerge as a major hub for business, tourism, and luxury in the city. The future of the Dubai Creek Tower may be closer to reality than expected. After a three-period of silence, Emar Properties announced that the tower is undergoing a redesign, signaling their continued commitment to the project. Mohammed Alabar, Emar's founder, revealed that an undisclosed international firm selected through a thorough tender process is leading the redesign. While the final design is yet to be confirmed, Alabar hints at a concept that will elevate the grandeur and impact of the ambitious project. Although the redesign's completion is pending, Alabar anticipates finalizing the new concept by April of the coming year, with construction on the tower set to resume a year later. The sudden and unexpected redesign of the Dubai Creek Tower has sparked speculation about the reasons behind this decision. While the exact cause remains unknown, some assumptions can be made based on available information. It is possible that pressure from Emar property stakeholders and executives played a role, considering the tower's significance as a major project for the company. Recent statements from the company's founder, Muhammad Alabar, suggest a potential scale reduction for the project contradicting earlier assertions about elevating its grandeur. Alabar hinted at ongoing redesign work, expressing uncertainty about the tower's final height compared to the Burj Khalifa. The rationale behind this shift appears linked to Emar Properties' focus on delivering value to customers and shareholders, aligning with their commitment to the bottom line. Interestingly, this development coincides with Emar Properties reporting a 25% increase in sales over the past year adding an intriguing layer to the unfolding story. Emar Properties recently announced ambitious plans for expansion, intending to complete 15,000 apartments by the year's end. With such robust plans and evident resources, the question arises regarding their ability to proceed with the Dubai Creek Tower as initially conceived. The decision to potentially reduce the scale of the design suggests a strategic move to expedite project completion. This adjustment could signify encountered challenges with the original design that proved difficult to address promptly. Alternatively, certain aspects of the initial concept may have been deemed impractical or infeasible during the construction process, highlighting the inherent complexities associated with erecting a skyscraper. Constructing a building, especially one surpassing a kilometer in height, entails crucial factors, with stability topping the list. As the tower's height escalates, wind forces exert greater pressure, 
intensifying the complexity, challenges, and costs associated with the construction process. In addition to stability, ensuring the safety of occupants is paramount in skyscraper design. Modern skyscrapers commonly integrate a comprehensive array of structural monitoring systems. These systems continuously monitor crucial information about the structure's health, including wind speed, swaying, fire safety, and plumbing. Functioning as a control center for the tower's vitals, these systems enable the prompt identification and rectification of any weaknesses or inconsistencies before they escalate into significant issues. The aesthetic design aspects are also crucial considerations. A one-kilometer structure towering over a city shouldn't resemble a design crafted by a three-year-old in art class. These aesthetic choices often align with safety and stability concerns, as seen in the iconic cables of the original design. While serving a supportive function, they contribute to the tower's unique silhouette and distinctive shape. Returning to the Dubai Creek Tower, the anticipation is building for its construction resumption next year. This skyscraper promises to capture significant international attention as one of the most intriguing structures in progress. Coupled with the rekindled construction of the neighboring Jeddah Tower, the competition to erect the world's first one-kilometer structure is officially back on. What are your thoughts on this concept? Feel free to share your ideas in the comments below. If you're interested in learning more about other mega projects, make sure to subscribe to Superstructures. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.